हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम यू आर विद दीपक आर खेमानी एंड वी आर इन दिस टू मिनट मनी एंड पर्सनल फाइनेंस शो येस्टरडे आफ्टर माई गोल्ड एपिसोड वेर वी डिस्कस्ड अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट गोल्ड वेदर इट शुड बाय और नॉट अ फ्रेंड कॉल मी अप एंड सेड आई अंडरस्टैंड वॉट यू हैव सेड आई नो दैट गोल्ड इज अवेलेबल इन फिजिकल फॉर्म आई हेयर दैट देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड ई गोल्ड और गोल्ड इज अवेलेबल इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फॉर्म वॉट इज दिस हाउ कैन वी इन्वेस्ट इन दिस सो लेट एस सी we all know that we can buy gold in its purest form that is in a biscuit 1 gram 2 gram 5 grams 10 grams etc we also know that gold is available in jewelry now to make things easier for people to invest in gold they came out with something called a gold etf an exchange traded fund which units you can buy so let's say today's gold price is 38000 so one unit of that gold etf can be 380 or 3800 rupees you can buy one unit or multiples of that unit only thing with an etf is you have to have a dmat account to hold that etf a lot of people do not have dmat account so what do we do now so we have something called a gold fund mutual funds have got something called a gold fund these gold funds indirectly then they go and buy this gold etf and you hold this mutual fund this gold fund which is actually holding the gold etf whose underlying asset is physical gold the last option and the recent option which came up a few years ago is the sovereign gold bond government of india issues this on a periodic basis the advantage of buying this gold bond is the government of india pays you a tax free interest sometimes it is 1.75 to 2% normally whenever you are investing in gold you do not get any return you get a return when you sell it however a sovereign gold bond pays you some small interest and which is tax free so if you are looking to invest in gold in electronic form not in its physical form my advice to you would be to go in for a sovereign gold bond however a gold etf and a gold index fund from any mutual fund is also a very good option see you there in the next episode we will be talking more about gold